Terrific guys, so today another computer monitor test, this time from the LG Ultra Fine series. As you can see, a very unique, very nice uh, display for Windows and for Mac, you can use it for both. And um, I have tested a bunch of uh, monitors on my channel before. So uh, curve monitors, 5K and 4K monitors. But today I wanted to test this 32 inch uh, display because it comes with a special very flexible monitor arm i think this is a great idea that lg started to include these monitor arms usually if you buy a display and then you want to don't use the included stand but want to get one of these flexible monitor arms then that can be quite cumbersome to choose okay you have this display and this monitor arm is for this weight and then there's so much uh, different monitor aftermarket monitor arms. So I think this is really an added value for the customer that you get everything out of one hand. The 32 inch high res uh, display uh, from LG and the quality monitor arm that gives you flexibility positioning this on your desk. And guys, awesome for tuning in. In part two, I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this display. And in part three, I'm going to do some testing, show you a few impressions of the display run you through the specs and then after using this for one month i'm going to give you in part four my conclusion after having tested this under windows for various things and under mac where i primarily do do the video editing for my youtube channel awesome guys let's check out what this monitor is good for so now we are quickly carefully taking this out of the box this is uh, the 32 inch version the lg 32UN88A. There is also a 27 inch, although that's not 4K. This is a, a 4K display and also has the USB type C in case you want to use this with a Mac. And essentially there are three main things in this package. Once this monitor arm, which I like a lot, then this accessory bundle package, and finally the display itself, which is quite large. So guys, let me quickly put this all together and show you the results. And one thing is sure, this monitor arm uh, is really straightforward and easy to install, as you can see here on my desk. Very massive, solid construction. And also you can move it around any way you want. Really nice to have a monitor arm like that. If for some reason you have a table, you know, some tables are thicker, some are thinner, then you can adjust this here, put it one up or put it one down. So I have found my position, so you can adjust, uh, fix it here. It's also soft, has a big surface area. So easily done guys, no problem at all. Great monitor arm. And last step, very easy. Just take it out of the box, put it on your desk, take it out of the foil, and then up here in the monitor arm, you just click it in. But the one thing I found when attaching the LG display, uh, don't do it from the front. It's much better to do it like this from the back. That way you see what you're doing and you can easily click it into place. And guys, so far this thing is massive. I can height adjust it. I can move it around. It floats on top of my desk. Uh, so far, very um, impressive display and terrific. A few weeks have passed and I've tested this monitor and used it extensively. Really nice. And as you've seen, I moved the monitor arm a little bit uh, to the side because obviously it's a 32 inch display. It's a quite big display. I love this monitor arm. This monitor arm is really excellent. You can route a bunch of cables really neatly through here. So you see, I have the USB-C for the MacBook. I have the display port for my old Mac Pro where I do all my video editing work. And I also have the HDMI if you, if I occasionally want to watch something on the Apple TV. And why I would recommend you if you have the 20, uh, 32 inch version to put this a little bit to the side is because obviously, yeah, it's a big monitor. And because it's so big, you want to put some distance between where you sit and where the monitor floats over your desk. And uh, the way I position this right now, I could move it the maximum amount to the side. So that's why I had to put this to the side. Cable routing is terrific. Uh, four cables I have routed through here uh, fairly neatly. Uh, display port cable was not included. I don't know why I still had one. So that would be would have been nice. 
but uh, I guess most people have the USB-C uh, slash Thunderbolt anyway, and I enjoy this display a lot. Right now, connected to my Mac Pro, uh, if you want to see Windows uh, review, you can jump to part 3B where I'm testing the Windows. Uh, one thing I did not like very much about this display is the menu. So you always have to push this control knob. Um, that's not as nice as, uh, let's for, uh, say for example, an ASO. The ASO displays that I tested, they usually have some direct controls down here. So you can just push a button, the menu comes right up and you uh, adjust the brightness with one tap. Uh, here you always have to go into the menu, um, select the settings, then it appears up here. Then you have to go quick settings, da, 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 and then you can adjust the brightness and then you have to go out again. So that's not so nice uh, menu-wise, but uh, there's a quick solution that you can try and use. And that's you go to the LG website and you download their software on screen control and you have a bunch of controls and that kind of remedies it. I wish uh, you could control it via these keyboard buttons, but uh, it's not the normal ultra fine series. Um, I wish they would add that maybe at some point that you can directly control it. Obviously that's more ergonomic if you just <laughs> don't have to open up the software, but uh, that's pretty good. You can adjust it here as well, and that's uh, reasonable to use. Um, Size-wise, I use this mostly for video editing, and uh, from my 27-inch display that I used previously, I have this kind of screen, real estate. Obviously, it also, so you can imagine, you get a little bit more with the 32-inch, which can improve your workflow. Obviously. It's also that you can adjust the resolutions. That's also a good thing about the LGs. They give you plenty of choice on how to adjust these resolu resolutions right here. Quickly dim this down one. And you see if you want even more space. Uh, I like my uh, desk a little bit, everything a little bit bigger. So, but if you wanted to even uh, squeeze a little bit more space out of it, you can increase that resolution. Obviously this all scaled and then you get get even some extra space here at the side. So that's with the old Mac Pro. Let's next jump to the MacBook. And as you can see here, it detects that I plugged in my MacBook. I plug this in, it detects it. I select the yes. And it switches right over. And then it gives me my uh, display extension. Very nice because you can obviously uh, it works like a docking station. You get everything via one cable. It charges the if you, your your notebook, and uh, that's super convenient. And uh, yeah, then you can uh, pick your resolutions. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this display. Uh, it has a really nice crisp color, and uh, it's significantly brighter than let's say my ASO display. So that's why I'm always dimming down the brightness manually. And uh, for that, I recommend the software. Um, another thing that you can also do if you want, if you have Apple TV lying around, you can connect that via the HDMI, uh, use it to watch some movies every now and then. Um, and then you have the best world. You have maybe your private notebook, which you can use with this LG. You have your maybe video editing workstation and uh, for some entertainment, uh, an Apple TV or something comparable. Let's switch over to that and then jump to Windows. Again, uh, the switching has to be done manually here, unless, so where I, I put that on HDMI 1. And there you go, that's the Apple TV. Uh, like I said, the colors really do look awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm very happy with this display, guys. Uh, I can recommend it, but in all honesty, um, a lot of people are probably gonna be happy with this 27 inch also. 32 inch is quite big. Um, so uh, for my liking, I like to push it all the way back as far as I can. Um, colors, colors are wonderful. And uh, yeah, cable routing, excellent. Monitor arm, excellent. Colors, excellent. Brightness, excellent. The menu, mm, not so much. I like the ASO more. Uh, I like to have the direct buttons. I think it's, it's a little bit quicker, but uh, hey, you don't have, to, I don't have to have everything in a display. Uh, it checks probably 90% of the boxes. That's fine with me and for entertainment as well as productivity. Also awesome. 
Uh, network is not plugged in right now, but I probably shouldn't show you a movie anyway. But you get the idea. I mean, it's a, it's a nice design. If you like design, if you like high quality, if it's in your budget, uh, and uh, if you don't take the 32 inch version, the 27 inch is also very nice. One thing I noticed if you have um, a 4K display, obviously you want to make sure that this notebook, for example, is also a 2019 model. So the older MacBooks may not uh, support, uh, not all old MacBooks may support like these super high res displays. So you may want to check this in advance. And uh, with the video editing rig that I have here, I also noticed um, it uses more memory of the graphics card. So just keep in mind, uh, you don't always have to have the 4K. It's nice to have, but uh, then you should also have a reasonably modern uh, system because 4K will use more resources, uh, computing and memory wise. At least that's what I noticed. And excellent, we jumped right now to the summary and conclusion part four. And as you have seen, I've tested this uh, L awesome LG Ultra Fine display in a variety of scenarios. Particularly what I liked is using it with the MacBook. You just plug in this one cable and you can use it as a, almost like a docking station. It charges your MacBook, you have a great resolution. Just make sure the advice I also gave you, you need a modern uh, MacBook. And uh, yeah, next thing what we did uh, after testing this, I also tested it under Windows, which also worked fine. So you see there is uh, Mac functionality, Windows functionality, you can use it for video editing, you can use it for gaming. And I also tested a variety of inputs. I liked a lot that I could connect all my three devices, my uh, computer, my notebook, as well as the Apple TV, if you want to watch a movie every now and then. So three inputs I've tested for you that worked very well. I really liked the way you can adjust the height, move the display up, move the display down. LG did a great job of including a really awesome monitor arm that fits for the display super nice and well. Then the cable management was also terrific. You could just uh, slide this down, all the cables disappear in the stand put the cover back on and you're ready to go. Really awesome design idea. And uh, yeah, the next thing that I also noticed is the crispness of the build quality. It's really sharp, really crisp, very nice image, awesome, terrific colors. And uh, yeah, if you, the only downside that I honestly have to say is I'm not a fan of this controller knob uh, where you use the controller knob to control all the functions in the display but uh, like uh, changing brightness, you always have to go into the menu. But I also showed you, you can easily circumvent that by downloading this LG on-screen control software. And then you just uh, do it with a click of a button from in your operating system, which is also very nice. Um, this concludes the review. I give it a thumbs up. This display uh, uh, checks all the boxes, except a few minor things that you sometimes can find. And uh, yeah, the display has a lot of room. Uh, a lot of brightness so if you're in a bright environment you will love the brightness i am usually always under 50 percent so i have still a lot of uh, wiggle room uh, on the upside yeah i'm also awesome you tune in let me quickly show you here in my channel page if you want to compare this particular display also against curved displays or displays of other manufacturers there is a computer monitor playlist and uh, awesome for tuning in let me know what display you ended up purchasing what is your favorite display so far for which uh, case? Maybe I haven't reviewed that yet. And uh, awesome for tuning in. I see you in the next video. A lot of people have already subscribed. You can subscribe right now as well. Take care. And because you just watched one of my reviews, you might also be interested in comparing the products that I just showed you against, for example, this LG Ultrawide 4K monitor, which is a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. So normally the displays all have 16 by 9 but the ultra whites give you some extra flexibility and uh, especially the curved ones are great for gaming, but I'm more a video editing guy. Awesome for tuning in. I see you as a subscriber and in the next video. Take care.